guys, it's Eunice from Theory of Simple and I'm underneath my pergola that we built last year and I'm going to add some drip irrigation to it because I have some plants and a fountain under here that are going to need some water, especially if we're not around. So let's get into the tutorial of how I added some drip irrigation to my pergola. We built this pergola last year and we love using it, but we do have some plants. But as you can see, our pergola is surrounded by concrete and I need to get some drip irrigation up on here to water my plants and feed my fountain. So let's get started. You'll need some basic tools like a hammer, drill, pliers, pruners, some half inch tube cutter, a piercing tool, and a connector tool, and a box cutter. Some of the supplies are half inch irrigation tubing, quarter inch irrigation tubing, some irrigation tubing spikes, some connectors, some clamps, screws, emitters, and spray paint. Using this rust only in flat spray paint to spray paint the vertical tubing and anything that will be connected onto my pergola to help it blend in to the wood on my pergola. Next I'm going to need to get to my supply line so I'm going to cut into the current supply line running along the fence. And I'm going to use this connector tool to add a T connector so that I can reconnect my supply line and add that T to bring my half inch pipe all the way over to my pergola. Now I'm going to add that half inch tubing that I'm going to run over to my pergola to the end of the T connector. Now I'm going to run my half inch tubing along the concrete patio to measure how much hose I'm going to need. And now I'm using a weed whacker to just take out a little bit of the grass in the ground just enough to give me a place to lay my half inch irrigation tubing. Now I'm going to work my half inch tubing into the trench and then I'm going to secure it into the ground with these half inch tubing spikes and then I'll also work around any sprinklers that are currently around the patio. I secured the pipe into the trench with the spikes, but make sure you don't secure the last spike because you'll want your tubing to be free to work with as you add in the extra pieces to come up along the patio. Now I'll add a connector to the end of the half inch tubing that will help me get it over the patio over to the pergola. Now you're just going to measure another small piece of half inch tubing to get it from the grass onto the concrete and over to the pergola. And now I'm just going to add another connector that will be my piece that connects my vertical piece of half inch pipe that runs up my pergola post. This half inch irrigation pipe will now be the main supply line that will supply water to all of my pergola. Now I'm going to go back and secure the end of the supply line in the trench with my half inch tubing spike. You're going to run your vertical pipe up the post, measure and cut it at the end. And if you're running any more of your half inch pipe, you want to add a connector now before you secure it to the post. Once I have my half inch supply lines connected, I'll put these plastic clamps onto the hose and simply screw them onto the post so that they're secure. Now I'm going to add my quarter inch irrigation tubing. So I'm piercing the half inch pipe with my piercing tool and then adding a quarter inch connector to some tubing and then simply putting that connector into my half inch irrigation tubing. Okay. 
at the end of the tube I'm going to add my emitter and just push in my irrigation emitter into the tube and put it in my pot. Now I'm going to attach these clamps to my quarter inch tubing to make sure they stay secure onto my pergola post. Now it's time to test my irrigation. So I'm going to manually turn on my irrigation station to check for leaks and to adjust my emitters. Everything's working and no leaks, so I'm all set. Well, I hope that tutorial helped you on how to add some irrigation to a pergola that's on a concrete patio. It wasn't too hard to do, and it's something that'll give me some reassurance that if I go on vacation or something, all of my plants will be sure to get some water. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Until the next time, have a great week. I'll see you in the next video.